Well, hello there, and thank you for tuning in to the Reva Chic Show. This week's episode, we are going to talk about which paintbrushes give you the best finish when you're chalk painting. So we're going to go over some different uh, types of brushes from oval rounded to just regular, you know, bristle brushes. And I'm going to show you actually um, the different uh, techniques and strokes with those brushes with chalk paint today. But before we begin, if you like what you see today, please make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you click on that like button and also hit that notification so every time I post a new video, you'll be notified when the video is posted. All right, so let's begin. All right, guys, we are ready to begin with the different brush types that we can use. So what I have here today is I did take a board so that we can use it and paint on it to show you. Okay. So the first brush here is we just have a regular, you know, bristle brush here. You probably have this in your garage or, you know, with something that you painted with latex paint, but this is one brush that people do use for chalk painting here. We have a small narrow brush it comes with a little handle okay so people have used this for chalk painting as well and then we have this oval brush rounded oval brush okay so i'm going to show you some different ways uh, and techniques of how to use these brushes and what finishes come out of it when you are actually chalk painting so get yourself some uh, chalk paint, and uh, I don't know which way the board's going to be good, but we can try it this way. I'll, I'll do the edge right here. The first brush that I'm going to use is going to be this brush, okay? So I'm going to dab a little bit of the uh, chalk paint on there, and here we go. As you can see, with these types of brushes, these are obviously made for, you know, latex. I mean, you can use it for chalk painting as well. But it's hard to go this way to me with, with these brushes. And it does leave lines. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it leaves those line strokes. Another thing with this type of brush is that your wrist can start hurting especially if you have a big piece that you're painting and you're constantly back and forth back and forth back and forth your wrist does get a a, a little uh you know it starts hurting um you want something that's easy to handle with your wrist especially if you're going you know different directions okay so that's one so again you can see the little lines right there and also with this brush it it can take it eats up a lot of the chalk paint meaning it gets it really wet with you know you can't really control it you can but then you got to be really really careful how you do it um, but just wanted to let you know but starting you know starters use this brush uh, which is great but they you know you will find out what's comfortable for you as you learn uh, with different brushes. There's so many brushes out there that you can try and don't just settle of what I'm saying or somebody else is saying you're going to find something that's comfortable for you. Okay. The next brush I'm going to use is this one right here. Okay. So I'm going to dab a little bit of this chalk paint and I'm going to go on this corner right here. So this one is a little easier to handle, okay? And it does also give you some nice uh, strokes and it doesn't uh, take that much paint on the brush. So you can see it's a little less now with the lines versus the one that we did here, okay? Now, mind you, this is a raw piece of wood uh, and, and it hasn't been really sanded. And it's, you know, when you're doing furniture, it's a little different. And when this dries, you're going to see the strokes a little more versus this one. It's pretty nice. Okay. Now I'm going to show you my favorite, which is the rounded brush. 
So this brush is intended for chalk painting, and it's this one right here. It's the oval brush. You can buy these anywhere. Big box stores have them. You know, you're going to pay, you know, different prices on, you know, this is a premium one. Uh, so you're going to pay a little more, but they last you forever, and it's very comfortable for your wrist. So I'm going to dab a little of chalk paint. And then with this, you can go, it's so easy to go back and forth, back and forth, and it doesn't need a lot of paint. And then this chalk paint goes a long way, as you can see. Okay, so just keep on going. And there's still more paint on there. And then here it is. No lines. Smooth finish. Hope you can see that. Okay, and again, this brush is also very comfortable for your wrist, especially, again, if you're doing a, a big furniture piece and you're doing a lot of painting, like myself, I can do multiple pieces, you know, in one time, uh, but these brushes are very, very, um, very good on your wrist um, and uh, very easy to use, okay? So I'm going to show you these boards again with that rounded brush. Also, the chalk paint dries a little quicker than these right here. Okay. These are still wet because of how much paint that brush can actually hold. It takes up, you know, it goes into your brush. This is still wet a little bit too, but the one that we just did with the oval brush, I mean, it's literally almost dry. So that is a big difference too. Dry time to me is important. I don't know about you, but I, I would like to go into my second coat. Um, here with this chalk paint as well, this is one coat. Great coverage. Again, the rounded brush takes, you know, great coverage. They're all great brushes, but it all is going to depend on what, you know, you want and what's comfortable for you. So now with this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and um, do my next coat on this one real quick. Um, so it doesn't matter. It's still going to show a little bit of the brush strokes. So if you don't mind the brush strokes, then great. But I'm going to do it again. And again, see how hard this is. And it holds a lot of paint. So especially when you're starting... Um, this might be a little difficult for you. You want something easier for yourself. So here we go. Brush strokes. You can see them even on the second coat and it's going to dry like that, you know, and then what happens is you have to sand it down a little bit and then repaint it. You know, if you don't mind doing them, then that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that smaller one. Okay. Again, to me, this is a little better than uh, the regular uh, other brush that we just used, but still lines, you know, they might be little small, but they're still lines. And now we're going to go back to the rounded brush. So I'm going to put a coat. And by the way, this is already dry. Okay. So put my next coat on. And this too, you can dab it like this if you have other corners. Which versus the other, br uh, the, uh, the regular brush, you can't do that. Especially if you have small corners that you want to get into. So with this brush, you know, you can get in those corners like that, get inside the creases, you know, do this, uh, which is nice. Uh, with this one, it would be a little hard to get in there. And also it leaves, it leaves a lot of paint. 
Okay. And again, really hardly any paint, you know, on there. I mean, this is kind of, this is basically dry. So there we have it. Now this is drying our second coat. There is no uh, lines of the paint. That's lines from the, from the grain on the wood. Okay. Okay. Well then I'm also going to show you, since we're uh, doing finished brushes, I'm just going to show you really quick um, when we're done with this, uh, what brush to use for our finishing, for our sealing. And I'm just going to show you a quick wax brush, uh, something that you can use over the chalk paint. So let's, uh, I'm going to go get that out for you. All right, so I am back now and we're going to talk about these brushes now. Let me get a little closer here. These are wax brushes, okay? They both do the same finish, so I, I really don't uh, need to show you the finishing on, on these because we're going to have other um, shows coming up with, you know, when you're painting and, and waxing and polying and all that kind of stuff, so make sure that you subscribe so that you can uh, get those notifications when that video comes in. But uh, these are wax brushes. So I have one here that is a little, I guess, stockier, rounded, excellent brush. It's got a great grip, you know, for your hand, especially when you have a big piece like a dresser and you're doing the top of a dresser um, or drawers or whatever the case is, or maybe you're doing a bottom of a table and it's got big pieces. This is excellent. It's really comfortable, again, I'm all about the comfort of the wrist. So this is very easy to use. Um, it can actually grab a lot of wax on here and you just work, you know, your piece. So this one right here, this is a premium, a better quality um, uh, uh, wax brush. There's so many out there on the market and you can try whatever you want. I have a preference. Um, I used to start with, you know, not the cheap ones, but maybe mid, uh, just to see them. But there is a difference when you're paying a little more, I'll be honest with you. And it lasts you a long time. So the investment that you put into these brushes um, can mean a lot. I mean, I've had this for a few years and it's, it's still great, as you can see. Um, yes, I got a little dirty on it. Uh, it's, I tend to use sometimes gloves and it gets sticky on here and all that kind of stuff. So, but this one's a little thicker, obviously. And then we got this, uh, brush. You've probably seen these, um, another premium brush that I use, um, comfortable as well. You could do a lot the way you hold it. You know, some people do hold it this way. You know, I don't find that too comfortable. You know, I have a tendency to hold it this way and work it. But this one is great for when you have, you know, hardware or say that you have a lot of detail, you know, on your piece and you want to get into the crevices of that detail to put some, say, dark wax on it. Perfect brush for it. When I first started with waxing, I actually was using these. I was using this for my clear wax and all that until again. I try this one, you know, very comfortable, you know, but again, they're both comfortable. It's going to be whatever is comfortable for you, but another high quality brush, uh, versus a low quality brush, uh, with the bristles coming out. And again, you're going to learn all that, but I'm just giving you some advice before you invest in your money and go in shopping for all these brushes. Um, you know, I would go medium to, you know, good quality brushes if you're going to be chalk painting for a long time. So anyways, this is the brush that I would, you know, recommend on that. So anyways, if you have any questions regarding what you saw today, please make sure that you can, you know, put in your comments and I would love to answer if you're working on a project and need some help on it, um, you know, I'm more than willing to help. But uh, I hope that you liked uh, our show this week. And um, if you like what you saw, please make sure again that you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure that you also uh, hit that notification. 
uh, so that every time that I post a new video that you will be notified once I put it. All right, well, I hope you all have a great day. And again, thank you so much for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.